Hypothyroidism to me, um, when it was described to me by my doctors, it was that my body's going two times the speed it should be. Basically, your thyroid is producing too much of the hormone it should be producing. I was diagnosed when I was 13, and I would have been um, in year eight at school. I found a goiter in my neck, so my neck swelled, um, which is quite common with hypothyroidism um, because the thyroid gland is being enlarged. Um, and we were actually on the way to a friend's house, um, and thankfully that friend was a doctor, so he had a look um, and said, oh, it could be nothing, but just get a blood test to be sure. Um, and that's when I got the call back um, from the doctor to book an appointment. Um, and I, looking back now, I can see that I had the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Um, so I experienced um, things like hot flushes um, and um, uh, talking really quickly and quite a hyper personality um, and sleeplessness. When I was first diagnosed, I was put on block and replace treatment, uh, which is what they call when they give you um, a drug called carbimazole, um, which stops your thyroid doing anything, so it stops producing thyroxine, um, and then they gave me the right amount of thyroxine to keep my levels um, where they were in tablet form as well. Um, so to begin with, I think I was taking something like 11 tablets, um, which slowly whittled down um, over two or three years. Um, and then last summer, they gave me the option of definitive treatment, uh, which is what they called it. Um, so either to have my thyroid taken out in surgery um, or to have this radioactive iodine treatment. Um, and I think to begin with, I was quite keen on um, thinking about surgery because with the radioactive iodine treatment, it's not a certain that it will work um, and I would have to have another dose. And if you have two doses and it doesn't work, um, you then have to have surgery anyway. Um, so I, I, to begin with, I was quite keen on that. Um, but actually when I discussed it with my family um, and we talked it through um, what surgery would mean um, and then actually how um, radioactive iodine would work um, quite a bit better in terms of um, um, my summer plans and in terms of um, being around family and friends, um, I think we found the logical idea would be radioactive iodine, um, which I think was a good idea. Um, so I think if if you can have the radioactive iodine treatment instead of the surgery, I think it's a, a, a much less invasive process, um, which is what I found. Um, and then uh, taking the radioactive iodine um, was quite strange. They gave it to me in a lead-lined box, um, which was quite scary. So um, obviously having anything radioactive was quite scary, um, which I then just had to swallow the pill inside it um, and then wait half an hour to make sure that everything was fine. Um, and then I could just go home um, and for a few weeks I had to be careful so no going near children um, no going near um, pregnant ladies um, or animals because they're quite susceptible to those levels of um, radioactivity and then about two or three weeks later I started getting symptoms um, of hypothyroidism um, which meant that it had worked um, and I had a blood test and they checked it and um, they confirmed that my thyroid was stopping producing thyroxine, um, which is what the treatment was meant to do. Um, and so I'd started feeling things like feeling cold and lethargic and putting on weight, um, which was a good sign because it meant that the treatment had worked. Um, and then they could put me back on thyroxine um, and work on getting my levels where they should be. Uh, to begin with, I was quite afraid of having to take medication for the rest of my life. Um, this idea of being dependent on something um, to keep me alive was quite scary. Um, but actually, I think um, of hearing other people's experiences um, and seeing other illnesses and actually realising that taking one tablet a day um, is a lot easier than a lot of people have to go through. Um, so it gave me a lot of perspective um, and I actually I don't mind taking them now. To someone who has the same illness as me, um, I would hope that I'm an example so I would say keep going um, and seek the help that you need um, and also to talk about it um, quite often I find it quite hard to put my ideas into words um, especially to doctors um, and to friends um, it's a really easily treated condition and it is quite a common condition um, so it's nothing to worry about that you won't be able to get the treatment because I can guarantee you will be able to.